Hello, this is Osa with another process video. Today I'm working with three photos of our kitten. He's called Felix and uh, he is such a goofball ball. He is uh, climbing everything and he is uh, stealing uh, <laughs> bread and uh, stuff he can find in the kitchen and he is uh, messing with his uh, older kit brother and he's biting our toes when we're sleeping so yes he, he's just uh, uh, crazy and uh, uh, fun and uh, wild and everything that you can imagine in a kitten but he's also very sweet and cuddly and oh here he is <laughs> making an appearance on the screen uh, here he is, is <laughs> so sweet and uh, I think you'll see more of him throughout this uh, video because because he was a bit bored so uh, he came visiting me quite a lot um, I will start this page like I start many others by uh, adhering the photos together so that they are still free but they form a unity a one block and I will mount them on a couple of different strips of pattern paper I have uh, chosen to go with the kind of light blue that's also available in the photo uh, on uh, Hobby's shorts. shorts. Uh, I, uh, I don't really know if that's matching, <laughs> but uh, it's at, at least it, it doesn't mit mismatch. <laughs> uh, our little kitten likes to be rubbed on the tummy and uh, when you lift him up he wants you to carry him like a little baby on his back and it's so sweet so we, we try to do it a lot and uh, just rub his uh, little soft uh, kitty belly now i bring out my uh, cat themed uh, project lifelike cards and i made a layout with uh, these sort of cards a couple of days ago uh, in uh, six by four cards uh, six of them on a page and uh, it was really fun so I wanted to use those cards again before I forget about them and I thought these were just the perfect uh, photos oh he's back he's playing with my roll of tape and uh, messing everything up but that's okay I will uh, bring in some more pattern papers in the blue uh, scale and uh, I think that uh, I will only use a couple of them but at least I had a couple of uh, to show choose shoes from uh, these uh, project life cards I will some of them I will keep like they are and some will I have to cut to get them to fit win with uh, under my photo block so now I'm just redoing everything because my cat uh, made a mess <laughs> that uh, wood grain paper is uh, a favorite of mine I really like it it's uh, white uh, weathered and uh, doesn't give a lot of, of color but it adds a wonderful cozy texture to, to the page which I so much love that uh, striped or uh, chevron paper will be some kind of dark uh, grounding element on this page uh, the piece that everything else stands on I like to have a darker color as a um, bottom of my uh, pages so this is a technique that I use a lot for some kind of visual grounding and uh, the, to get the feeling that the the layout is standing f s firmly on the ground <laughs> even though it's in, in an album uh, this card I'm not lazy I'm a cat it will be my title for this page I will also make another little uh, not like a title but uh, it's more like words where it says uh, it says whiskers on a piece of card and I will write Felix's name um, 
on that card and later I will also add a little off so it says so whisker, whiskers of Felix mm, there's the card Uh, this is a really nice way of building a layout, I think. I think the Project Life cards are so much fun to work with. And uh, they give a bit of patterned paper and some embellishing embellishment. And you still don't have to cut into a full sheet of 12x12 patterned papers. So they are adorable. And by buying a small uh, collection of cards, you can um, almost uh, get the feeling that you're working with a full collection of, uh, of uh, a designer. I draw a pen line like I uh, m almost always do, but this time I will m make it a little bit more fun and add some loops all around the page. And it will be like you know kittens play with uh, pretty much everything that's a string and uh, uh, this is the string <laughs> that I have added as the border. I find some um, dotted um, papers it's from a branding strip I don't know what paper it came from but it's it suited the theme and I got to put a little bit more weight to the right. I'm being creative with some stickers and uh, spelling uh, Felix. <laughs> it doesn't look like that at the moment, but uh, later I will uh, make that uh, C into an A by adding a little part of an Y. So that's normally what I, I do when I miss letters. I, I really try to be inventive and uh, change up the, the sticker sets as much as possible. So this is the his name. He's actually called Mr. Felix Bigglesworth III, Lord of Spandex, because I think that all cats suffer from megalomania and uh, he needs a large name. Our first cat is named Cosmos and if it, that's not a big name so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we thought that uh, this cat needed a big name as well but he got a big name in another way. It uh, sounds a bit uh, fancy schmancy uh, noble and uh, royal and uh, uh, so it, it suits uh, his personality a bit. I, I guess he will be even more uh, full of himself when he gets a bit older. Now I bring out a pack of uh, canvas uh, tags, labels, that I've had in my stash for a long time. And as you see they are almost uh, running out. But on this layout I will use the, the lines that are around the labels. So I will cut them out and they will form small f frames that I can put uh, under my layers and uh, they will... Oh, one I even put on top because it was uh, a full rectangle. And uh, they will form kind of uh, embellishments and layers to my clusters. There will be string on this uh, page as well. I made three different kind of uh, twine balls. <laughs> one uh, bow, uh, one uh, just uh, loops and uh, then uh, one uh, bundle that I I made in the shape of, of a rope. Um, uh, yes, a rope. I make this package a bit smaller to put in my stash. I like when things are getting used. To add a little more uh, bling to this page I put a couple of uh, uh, half pearls in I think it's tan, pretty much the same color as the cards are in. 
and uh, this is the finished layout. Here are some still photos so that you can see the whole layout in a bit better light. So this is Felix and he is such a sweetheart. I hope that you enjoyed this process video. I certainly enjoyed talking to you again. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.